welcome back to uh, Hogwarts Legacy Part 3. So we have been sorted into Ravenclaw and we are starting off our adventures as a Ravenclaw. Let's get going. Ah, oh, you don't kick through doors, that's unfortunate. <laughs> this should be interesting. Like I suppose some introductions are in order. One moment. Watch this. through a dumb box. <coughs> <coughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. What does he know about my trip here? I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Ghost. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. He seems like one of those kids that thinks they're mischief, but like really doesn't push the envelope at all. That's for a child. I, I think they're 16, the so <laughs> I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones. <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I have a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wigan World potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Gonna go hand in hand, I'd suspect. Um, Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. <laughs> oh, that's a is it common home. practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. Cool. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your ditany. Thank you. And good luck to you, too, on your first day. Apple a day keeps the Dark Lord away. Entirely. That's just brilliant, Amit. Brilliant. You'd think you could... Ah! That is not how... Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? From door bathrooms. Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. Oh, they nice all know about you, that. <laughs> I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I actually do love astronomy. I, I wanted to become an astronomer in real life, but... I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Decided against Sounds it. Sounds interesting. 
I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. I am it. Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had best not keep her waiting. Sit there. Painting? Revelio. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. But yeah, a book. Here you are. Lost all the pages. What is it? Shit. It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Ooh. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay, doggy. Rebellion. This way. Look at the being one. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Bust crib on a Ravenclaw house resides in the lofty Ravenclaw tower. A lofty field guide challenge. Your process towards completing challenges is here. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Excavating. Going on. This is your wizarding level. It's on level one. Each tier, uh, each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlocked at each tier. You complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Okay, so I get some specs. Oh, cool, he carries the clever, book. isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. No time to waste. Revelio. Classes to attend. Plus squid. Uh, Hydra. One, two, three, four, thirteen, seventeen. Nah. <gasps> oh. 
Cool. So it must be zero and nine, right? I don't know. Revelio. I'm just making the ship, honestly. What I get? Jack-o-lanterns. Poacher's coat. Okay. <laughs> I did it, miss. Extra credit, please. I won't. I won't tell you how much of that I cut. Well, I tried to figure that out. Ah! It's horrible not having that I can't just Google anything. Perfect opportunity <laughs> to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where the students and professors live and include the House Commons and the Great Hall. Okay, I'm not gonna remember that though. Green represents one. Okay, go to the library. Control hall. I'm most likely just going to cut out the majority of all the loading screens. And here we are. And Quite the time saver. The school. These stairs lead huge. directly to Central Hall. And you guys don't need to watch me walk through a school. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. There's puzzles over there. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Yeah, let's figure it out. Thank so you, so Professor Weasley. Need a a lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. No. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay. Thank you. That's that. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. 
Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. This represents main quest. Completing main quest with further story and grant experience. Some quests are locked behind level requirements. Okay. Uh, learn Livioso or Accio. Accio, I see all these flying pages. I assume I can pull them into the book. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okie doggy. Alright, I'm gonna go see if my theory works. It's probably different every time, right? It must have a value of a different order. I don't know, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure that was like third and that was fourth. Oh, let's find out. Alright, one question mark is 11 plus 0, 1, 2, so 13. I think that's with 8. Alright. Yep. 1, 2, 8. And spider. Yes. Oh, yes, spider. Okay. So, 9 plus uh, 8, 7, 6, 5 is 14. Leaves us with 3 to go. Yeah. One, two, three. Hydra. It's no wonder Raven. Probably not this simple. Although, is this? I think it's good. Okay, cool. All right, I guess I figured it out. Unless it changes. At least she's two of the same. Who knows? Anyway, I will catch you, Paige. Revelio. Anton in the Transfiguration Courtyard is likeness of a woman. On top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumours to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadigan, this is most assuredly not meant to be the Wyvern of Rye. Rye? Rye? I don't know. Slain by the light, lively knight in spite of himself. Okay. Anyway, I will get back to you once I get there so that we get more out of each episode than just a bit of running. It's a kitty! All that happened that day, I. He's petting the fur in reverse. Man, I agree. Right, back. Stop it, Peeves! You'll get us in trouble. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. 
Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. They're learning a new spell. Akio! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. Ah, After me! I play video games to avoid fresh air. Ugh. Fine. Pixelated. O2 is fine. <laughs> ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres I mean, and relinquish your charm the at the Tetris last possible cards. moment. Target, now, uh, think of oh, this like okay, gobstones, if you will. Accio. Instead of throwing the marbles up. Splendid! Much beans? Too much beans. Don't lose your composure! Very good! Uh... Not to worry. Akio! Excellent this. control right. there! Right, we got 50. <laughs> Very good! Points to Ravenclaw! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! Good. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let us see this. You're a hex, lady. What's that? That is how it's done. Akio. Watch this. There we go. It's a bit I can knock hers off. <laughs> I will get you back for that. Here we go. A perfect score! Remarkable! Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Hehehe. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Oh, that was an execution. <laughs> She's a good spare. It's embarrassing. There we go. Ah, uh, too much rains. Stop. Happens to the best of us. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. All right, well, thank you for joining me for part three. This uh, little series we're doing, this little playthrough. Um, hopefully you enjoyed and you'll come back for part four where we'll take on the next class and then see how much more time we have to squeeze in a little bit more. Other than that, uh, I will see you then.